So as we think about mutations of genes, you can have a gene that mutates that really is aggressive and drives cancers or others that actually may silence, say, a tumor suppressor gene or a good gene. There are different types of mutations. You have the activating mutations, the amplification mutations, deletion mutations, and interesting enough, the acquired or inherited mutations. So that's a lot. And if we were talking about to a group of scientists, we would then go into each one of these things. But I just want to give you some basic information about why they're important. And again, this goes back to the biomarker discussion that we had earlier. This is just tying it back in. That by having a mutation of one of your genes, you can see that it's amplified in a way in which there's more copy numbers. So you're born with a set number of genes, say, for example, and you can get one that's mutated that then increases the number of copies, we would say, oh my goodness, maybe that's a signal that something's going on, particularly with your cancer. But the cool part about that is that there are other activating mutations, for example, like KRAS. Now, most people think about KRAS and they think, oh, I know the term, I know the name, but let's think about it. It is a, it comes from understanding viral oncogenes and, and, and the RAS part just really means that when you think of KRAS, which is a fairly common driver of lung cancer, that we now have identified that if you have specific KRAS mutations, again, we have medicines. And there are ways of thinking about targeting that. So multiple mutations. A deletion mutation is something where, in fact, you have a good gene, one that would protect you from getting cancer. Now imagine that gene being gone. Those are the types of things that your body inherently um, are actually living with every day, believe it or not. These things are going on. The nice part about it is that your body can then correct or compensate. It's when your body stops being able to compensate for these mutations that we run into trouble. Now, some of these are acquired. And what I mean by that is exactly that. Acquired meaning that they're from behaviors. Sometimes the smoking, sometimes the alcohol, the lack of exercise, they're really acquired or exposure to, say, workplaces. And others, unfortunately, are inherited. So you'd have to blame your mom, your grandparents, great-grandparents, and down the lineage. And so when we think about cancers, it's fairly complex. But to make it simple, there's really two versions. You have the inherited kind that you just have a KRAS mutation that just happens to be passed down from generation to generation, or they're acquired. The acquired ones, we all can certainly do something about. So it's important to understand that you're born with a set of genes, but different things can happen, uh, like activating mutations to, that makes them more aggressive, a gene that would normally be good, that causes cancers, or deletion of mutations. Deletion mutation, which means you lose a good gene that now leaves you less protected. So that's the really the uh, explanation of why I'm excited about this whole field.